All right, that's not too bad. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I am an old guy gaming, and I decided to bring you back earlier than... Why did I leave that door open? Uh, earlier than I had planned. Uh, as you can see, I built the Kim bench, and um, all we can do with it right now is make the antibiotic tonic and the flatbread dough. I'm wondering if this was a mistake, too, at least for me, because, I mean, <laughs> the herbalism bench does all that, too. I don't know. It probably, if we... If we made those more advanced medical pills and stuff, we probably need would need this for that. But, mm, yeah, I don't know. May, that might have been a mistake. Uh, I'll definitely have to give that more consideration in the future. Uh, by the way, I'm recording this back-to-back -back with the previous episode, so I haven't seen you guys' comments yet. Uh, but the reason I'm bringing you back earlier is because we have some more things to make, and I, wanna, I wanted to do that with you guys on camera. So um, let's go ahead and make some more stuff here. Uh, so let's see. We're going to try out the biofuel deep mining drill. So we're going to make that. Um, I also have a wall light and ceiling light. Um, and we have binoculars that we're going to try out. Um, and I think that was, I think that's it. We're not going to make the thermos right now. Uh, but we will be making one at some point because we're going to need that, you know, for the, uh, for the heat environment. Uh, okay, so let's start with the basic ceiling light. We're going to need some extra iron ingots. Uh, we got a full thing of ingots here, so we'll just throw a few of those in here. And I want to see uh, what kind of, or how much light this actually gives off. Um, so if we, let's just stick it right in the middle of the base. And then we will spread out more lights as appropriate. Okay, so this beam is the center uh, right here, and the doors are the center. Okay, so let's just put it right there. All right, I'm assuming that needs... Yeah, it's, whoops, uh, we're going to need to hook that up to power. So we're just going to go here right into uh, we can't just like stick it there alright whatever um, now we're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to, to turn off these torches to get the full effect here so let's do that And then we'll see how, you know, how much this actually lights up in here. Uh, let's also turn that off for the moment, too. Okay, so if we turn the generator on. Press to interact. All right, I think we have too much stuff connected. So let's remove that for now. And, ah, yeah, see, both of these guys connected at the same time is overloading the Ginny. All right, well, for, for now, um, I'm just going to disconnect that. Oh, no, it isn't. There's no fuel in there. <laughs> Put the fuel in here instead of there. Okay. Um, all right. So that's the light. So I'm thinking three of these. How much does this use? Does it even tell us how much power it uses? Um, let's go here. It doesn't. It doesn't say. I have no. I don't know how much power that's using. Does the generator show like what the load is? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much power it's actually using. Uh, but I'm thinking three of these uh, for the base would be good. So let's make two more ceiling lights. I don't think we need any wall lights. And yeah, we're going to need some more iron, which we can do. Put that in there. And then make the other ceiling lights. 
Okay, so that gives us two more. Uh, by the way, I did make the com compound bow. Here she is. Awesome. Um, and I didn't... Uh, we made the titanium axe, but I didn't actually show it to you guys. So that's what it looks like. Total high-tech looking axe there, eh? Uh, all right, so let's get the lights back down here. And did I... Oh, yeah, I didn't grab both of them. Do these stack? Oh, they don't. That's that's what happened. Okay, so based upon this light here, I'm thinking if we put one on this beam here. And one on this beam here. Okay, and then, yeah, see, that's why we don't leave the door open in the house. Stupid wolf. Okay. Now, let's wire this guy up to whatever you want to hook into. Yeah, the wiring is really wonky. So it's kind of like... <sighs> um, you, you know, we just have to kind of run with it. Oh, why isn't that... Did that actually not hook up correctly? Wait a minute, what? Okay, hold on a sec. It wants to... there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty decent light in here overall. I, I think it'll be more, you know, we'll, we'll still keep the fire running too just because, it, again, it's cozy. But I think especially at nighttime, you know, not that we spend a lot of time at night anyways because we sleep, but that's pretty good light. Okay. So we got that taken care of. They're not, I guess they're not perfectly straight, but they're good enough. All right, now, the next thing we want to make is, well, let, let's make some binocs. So we're going to need some rope for that. I think I have rope in here. Yes, I do. Let's eat this before it goes bad. We only have two cooked prime meat. We're going to have to go polar bear hunting again. All right, we'll craft those. Cool. All right, let's test them out. Okay, right right mouse button oh so there's no there's no zoom because as soon as I use like the wheel it just switches to the next tool that's pretty good magnification though if I put my my uh, crosshair right on that little tiny stone the stone is not that much bigger than the crosshair but when I zoom in then yeah, okay, cool. That'll be helpful for polar bear hunting and stuff. So we got those done. And now what we want to do is we want to make the biofuel deep mining drill. Uh, like I said, we'll make the, worry about the thermos later. Okay, so what are we needing for this? Ten electronics, copper, and steel. Okay, let's grab, we have some steel in here, and I have 20 electronics that I made for the composter, so I actually want to keep those, so let's make, keep those there. All right, we're going to have to go after some more copper, it looks like. And we'll put some steel in there, and then let's see, what else do we need? Uh, oh, one, one more steel electronic, uh, or one more steel ingot. We're gonna have to make more of that too. Oh sh okay, here we go. Let's gonna say no, we're out. Um, okay, and then uh 10 electronics. Can we make 10 electronics? Oh yeah, we can make 14, we will make 10. And then we're gonna go take this into a cave, set it down, and see what happens. Okay.
Oh, we still need more copper. Really? Oh, shit. Uh, oh, we got some copper ore there. Good. Okay. Let's pop that in here. Oh, we're going to have to reconnect our power. Um, okay. So why network connection not active? So it's like it didn't actually connect, but why not? It's right, right there. What the hell? This wiring man is driving me nuts. Let's get rid of that. This is showing uh, that it's powered. So... Oh, wait a minute. What did I just do? <laughs> Screw this all up. Is that connect there? No, nope, I just disconnected that. Okay, you know what? Undo that. Undo that. We got just a spaghetti mess here. Undo this. Undo that. All right. So the light is connected in there. Now, if we connect to this and go... Oh, what's this business? I don't know. Let's get rid of it. Connect to this. Make a junction there and down to there. There we go. Okay. You know, that doesn't seem any faster than this. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess it is. I guess it is. Not by much, though, but a little bit. Okay, so let's let that copper finish up. Uh, we need... I think we'll be able to have enough to make to get this done. I think we will. All right, I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make another one of these two, and we'll put this in here to get it started. And we're gonna take this biofuel can with us. That's gonna take a long time to fill up. Does this give us enough? Yep, okay. Let's make the drill. Machining bench drill. Okay, so we're going to grab this. And let's turn this into animal fat. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I probably should not have made that that Kim bench um, unless I was going to get into those really higher level medicines but we'll know better for next time right okay let's put the wiring tool back in here for now and so yeah we're, we basically need a bunch of steel um and you know what I think I'm going to do for that is we can make steel bloom with ingots. And I have a full chest of them here. We might as well put them to use rather than going out and getting more. Um, more. Actually, I'm not going to be able to fit all of these in here because i got to get some charcoal in here too. So let's put that many in for now. And let's go grab a bunch of charcoal. We'll just grab... Everything that's in there. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. It's not charcoal. It's coal. Not charcoal. Uh, all right. Well, let's just put this stuff back in here. I think I have coal in here. Yes, we do. Okay. Let's just grab all of it. Well, we'll keep, we'll keep one stack in case we need it for something else. I don't think we will, but you never know. Okay. And then let's get 
that and that out of there. We might as well quickly turn all that bone into... Oh! <laughs> we disconnected the damn thing again. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, put that back in there. Uh, just, yeah, just get rid of that stupid thing. We don't need it. Uh, okay, wiring tool. Wiring tool. Alright. Let's see if we can connect into something here. And just do... I mean, it's going to look like shit no matter where I put it, so... You know what? Whatever. Okay, that is saying not powered. I wonder if it's just because we have too many things connected. We disconnected this. Provides 5,000. But this is only using 2,500. Yeah, but I guess with the three lights connected too. What if we turn the lights off? Now does it have power? Uh, nope. It still doesn't. Hmm. Alright, disconnect this business. If we just run straight from there to here, does it have power? Nope. Are you done? Yes. Alright, let's disconnect this. Now does this have power? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's just a it's just a load thing. Alright, we'll figure it out. We are figuring it out. Yes, we are. Okay. Let's um uh go here. Wait a minute. Okay, it says it has power. But it's not it's not working. Do we have to reset it? There we go. Okay. Alright, now let's make steel bloom. And I'm going to need even probably more than this, but th that'll get us started. I'm going to put the other bit of copper in here. Okay, before we take off and go test out this drill, um, I want to get... S so we're working on steel. Uh, what are we going to need for more composites? We're going to need more iron ore. It looks like we have everything else. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get that with this drill. And then... Uh, and we need a hundred concrete mix. So for the concrete mix, I'm gonna put this back so I don't take it out in the field with us. Let's grab all the stone that we currently have. We're gonna need some uh, resin. I want to leave that there. Thought I had more resin somewhere else. Did I put it somewhere? Wouldn't be in there. Here, let's grab some of this silica too. We'll keep an extra stack down here. Okay. Uh, I might have to make up some more tree sap too. Uh, because... Well, we could probably split this. Let's take half of this out of here. I, we should still have enough to get this filled up. We might actually run out of wood before we run out of the other stuff. At least we can get some concrete going here. Okay. And again, I'll, I'll just work on that other stuff off camera. Alright. Now, you are done. So let's take the steel bloom that we got and I'm gonna actually just do it in here so I don't have to keep the the power running while I'm gone so let's just why are you not making steel that is weird man okay it's like it doesn't register that it's in there okay we are going to turn this off to say conserve fuel. And what time of day is it? It's 1600. All right. I think I'm going to 
uh, hang out around the house. Maybe go out and get some sticks and stuff to make some more tree sap. Sleep, and then in the morning I'll bring you guys back, and we will go uh, try out this drill. Okay, so I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, went out and got a bunch of sticks to make some more turpentine or uh, what's this called? Tree sap. Uh, went and got some more silica, um, and we're, we're making up the rest of the concrete that we need to make for our electric composter. And then all that's left after that is uh, we need some more composites. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go test out this new drill. So we're going to grab the drill, the biofuel can. Uh, I'm not going to take the dehumidifier with us this time because we have the, the meds now for that. And I think think the closest mine to us is just actually up this way. And, you know, when I've been in the mines, I've noticed that there are uh, d d uh, deep ore deposit uh, spots that you set the drills on. And so I, what, I, uh, what I'm not sure is if those deposits are specific to a type of ore or if you get random ore from them or what. So we're going to go f see if we can figure that one out. So, yeah, this mine is just right around the corner here. It's one of the larger mines. So, hopefully it'll have one of those. I, I don't know if every mine has one of those deep ore deposits or not. I'm not really sure. Uh, so, we're going to set the drill down, kind of check it, see if we can figure out what it's doing. But then we're going to go do a little bit of polar bear hunting, too. I want to try out the new bow um, for that. So... Right. Let's kill you. Let's kill you. Uh, I heard another one somewhere. Back around the corner. Okay, so yeah, let's see if we can find that spot that you can put them down at. There you are. There you are, you rat bastard. A little freezing going on there. There's one. Okay, so... Here again, like I said, I, I don't know if... Every mine has one of those or just some of them I haven't paid real close attention to them because up until now I, I wasn't able to do anything with them anyways there's a little coal there uh, is it actually possibly in the water it's pretty obvious when you see it it's like a disc shaped area oh maybe this uh, maybe this cave doesn't have it have that in it unless it's up here possibly All right, I'm um, going to go out on a limb here and say this cave doesn't have one of those. Which seems to then answer the question that maybe not all caves have the deep uh, ore deposit thing in it. Okay, well, now we know. Um, let's go to... I'm trying to think. I want to go to the cave that's near or you know that are near to the base I'm gonna grab some berries too for our fruit salad not that I've been really eating that much lately I've been doing bread um, prime meat and creamed corn but I'm keeping the watermelons going in the garden anyways just in case <clears throat> you know we decide to switch back to it at some point and just for fun um, so I guess the neck, there's going to be a cave up on that ridge, but it's one of the small ones, and I don't know. I mean, we can go look. Yeah, let's just go check it out. Okay, we are at the little cave. And we got a level two. Nice. Let's just run in here. There's only one worm in here to deal with. It's going to be right there. 
Okay, so. Is that thing in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Nope. Alright, let's go to the next closest cave. Okay, this is a big cave, so hopefully we'll have one in here. We have a few worms to have to fight. Here's the first one. And the second one's down here. Oh, my fire from the last time I was mining in here is still running. How funny. Oh, freeze. Uh, let's redo our food. I still have, yeah, okay. Do I have any ore in here? No. Wow, that thing is run. Oh, it's because I put coal in it. I shouldn't have done that, but... Maybe that's all I had at the time. I don't remember. Okay, let's look over here. There we go. Uh, and, and that is... Oh, shit. That is a uh, deep mining ore deposit. It looks like iron. It doesn't say that it's iron, but it looks like iron. Oh, he got us, little bastard. Here, we might as well kill you too. Okay, I think that takes care of all the monsters in here. Um, yeah, that that definitely looks like iron. So, I'm going to assume that's what it is, unless we learn otherwise. Let's swim back over there. Alright, so, let's grab this guy. And set it down here. Press E to interact. And it will get us iron ore. So we put this in here. Activate. There's not a lot of slots in here. I wonder if it... Uh, I wonder if it'll shut off once it fills up and not keep wasting fuel. That's pretty cool looking though. I like it. I, I want to get a sense for how quickly... Oh, I see. It's shown us this right here. Okay, so... Yeah, we basically set it down, let it run, and we come back sometime later, and we will have five full stacks of ore. Very nice. Okay. So, that is cool. Okay, so what we're going to do for the rest of this episode is we are going to go uh, hunt some more polar bears. We're going to try out the, the co compound bow with the composite arrows. And uh, we're going to get another stack of prime meat since we're out. So I will meet you guys up in the uh, South Glacier region. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, I slept uh, the night away and um, we're going to set off uh, into the polar region. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a set of fur armor. Um, so let's craft the headpiece. The chest piece, the, oh, arm armor, yep. Yeah. Leg armor, and feet armor. Okay. Um, where, wait, where did those go? Uh-oh, did it craft them and then send them off into oblivion? Um... I think it did. Oh, no, there they are. Okay, good. All right, so uh, we're going to we're gonna do a couple of things different this time going into the Arctic. I'm not going to wear the fur armor until I start getting really cold. Um, but we're also going to take a fireplace with us, a half stack of wood, um, some stone floors and some stone walls so we can just make a shelter uh, if a storm comes and not have to, um, you know, try and find a cave. Uh, I want to check something out really quick, though. Can I 
put down this and then put the walls on top of it. Yeah, looks like I can't. Okay. Um, so, yeah, basically when a storm comes, we just get in here and we put the, the roof on. And we put the fireplace down. I'm, we're just doing a little test run here. Throw the wood in it. And we stay warm until the storm's done. I don't know if polar bears can damage stone or not. Um, hopefully they can't because I wasn't planning on taking a repair hammer with me. Because we're already, you know, really overweight here as it is. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to try this and see how it works. I know I could do this with wood too, but, you know, wood's going to take damage from any storms. And then, you know, then we're going to have are going to have to have a repair hammer with us and I want to just try this and see you know how well it's going to work okay so let's head on into South Glacier our goal is to test out our bowl uh, uh, our bow our compound bow and our com composite arrows and see how effective they are get away from me P Rana um, one other thing I found out too is that you shouldn't have your canteen equipped in the snowbound. Oh, uh, here's another trick I found out too. Uh, if you skin and then you just right click, it cancels the skinning, but it still actually does. It cancels the animation, but it still does the skinning. I think we got. I think we got XP for that. I don't want to try it on another wolf and see. Okay, here's a wolf. Let's try it on him. All right, so we're going to hold E and then right click off. Oh, okay, so we don't. Oh, no, we did. We did. We got the XP. Okay, so it just saves time um, and useful too if you're getting uh, getting rushed, you know, by another wolf or something, you know, while you're skinning. Okay, we're getting into polar bear territory. The polar bears, they they don't sound like the grizzlies. They do kind of more of a grunting sound. Almost almost sounds a little bit like a cow mooing or a bull, you know, uh, bellowing a little bit. But, uh, yep, that, I don't know if you guys heard that, but that's a polar bear right there. We'll get a little closer. Uh, so this is going to be interesting because this is the first time I've tried to have a bow out on a polar bear but we have the best bow in the game we've got the best arrows in the game we've maxed out the combat the arrow damage um you know that's all we've done but at least we've maxed out the damage that the arrow will do so yeah we'll see how this goes uh, you know I always got my rifle too and my shotgun as a fallback if needed and we've got our composite armor on so uh, if we do get nailed, you know, we'll take a lot less damage. And we also have suture kits if we get deep wounds. I'm not harvesting those animals because we need to save all of our space for uh, for prime meat. I'm probably not even going to grab the polar bear fur and maybe not even the bones. Uh, we'll see how things go, though. All right, there's one right there. Let's get up where we have a good line of sight. And all right, here we go. Okay, hold on a second. We might need to get a little bit closer here. That's some pretty good critting. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how well I was doing getting headshots. It's still kind of dark, actually. But, you know, three arrows and, and a shotgun blast took him down. 
Uh, what level is he? 26. Okay, he's a, he's a smaller one, too. All right, let's get this stuff. All right, we got... We recovered two of our arrows, and I... <clears throat> I shot one and lost it. He doesn't have any prime meat. We're just going to leave him. No, it's a waste, but we have to really... Our, our whole point in doing this, aside from getting XP, is the prime meat. So we need as much room as possible for this little expedition. Okay, I think I heard another bear. You know what? Um, It's not likely I'm going to find that arrow, but let's just take a really quick look. Because these are expensive arrows. I'm surprised I even I missed that first one, especially with a crouch shot, but I don't think we're going to find it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking, but I figured we'd do one quick little scan to see, it, see if it's sticking out of the stone, maybe, or something. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Let's head on into the snow. I thought I heard another bear over that way, but maybe not. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go... Uh, we're going to take this out of our slot. Because that gives us an automatic cooling effect, which of course we don't want in the snow. Oh, we got deep wounds. I didn't even notice that. Okay, let's take our suture kit. Let's also replenish all of our food. Uh, okay. We're going to try the bow a couple more times. Um, but we'll probably ultimately continue using the rifle. Because it's what we got the most skills in. Alright, is that a bear? Yeah, that's a bear there. Let's get about right here. We'll crouch. And, um, I get a decent headshot. Did I reload this? Oh, look at that. Glad I thought about it, huh? All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I want to get all my arrows back first. Because I think... I don't know. When you skin them, do you get all of them or just one? I don't know. Okay, we got two... Pe oh, we did get another one back. Okay, we got two pieces of prime meat. So we are going to stop right now. And set this down and get it cooked. Once it's cooked, then it'll last. But... It spoils so incredibly fast until it does. Plus, we'll be able to warm up, too. All right. Let's get out our handy-dandy noculars and just kind of scan what's ahead of us. Uh, there is a bear right over the top of that rock over there. Why don't we leave this here and go after that bear? while we're waiting for that meat to cook. And, you know, the bow's, the bow's damn good. Absolutely no doubt about it. And keep in mind, too, all I did was put points into damage. I didn't put any points into crit or anything else with it. So, you know, had we invested more points in it, it would be doing even better than it currently is. Not that it's doing bad now. I mean, it's still doing pretty good. Okay, here we go. None of these are critting. So, yeah, we had to use the shoddy to finish them off. So here again, you know, had I invested uh, points into arrow crit crits and stuff like that, we probably would have uh, had a, a better time with this. But still, it's working, though. That's the thing. It's working. Rifle's still more effective, in my opinion. Um, so that's probably what we're going to keep using since that's what we're invested in. But... I wanted to try the bow out, and I'm pretty impressed with it, considering, uh, you know, that we don't have that many talent points into it. All 
Okay, so we got two pieces of cooked prime so far. Um, we don't need the charcoal for anything. Let's pick our fire up. And our wood. And continue on our Arctic expedition here. We should be more or less okay to just stay out and, and you know, until a storm comes. Um, the other thing we could do is put our fur armor on. In fact, let's try something. If we put this on, does it remove the cold debuff that we currently have? It does. Okay. So, it's unlikely that a polar bear is going to actually close on us all the way with it when we use our rifle. So, let's just stick with the fur armor for now. Um, but we just have to be really careful. I thought I saw another bear. Oh, there is. He's sleeping. So, check this out. That's a sleeping bear. From here, it just looks like another rock if you're not paying attention. And that could get you in trouble. Let's see if we can get around this way so we can get a headshot off. That's going to be kind of tough. We're going to have to get all the way around here. And make sure there aren't any other bears kind of behind us. Oh, he stood up. Okay. We are definitely a grade A badass with this rifle. <laughs> Whatever a grade A badass is. Okay. Uh, no prime meat. Okay, we're going to just leave him there for new polar bears to come and eat later or wolves. See, we're feeding the wildlife. We're doing our part here. There's another bear over there. We didn't quite get good enough headshots on that one. No prime meat. Darn it. Okay. Let's pick up a few of these just so we can keep our wood stocked up pretty good. Um, 52 is plenty, yeah. I don't want to get too much, because, you know, then we're going to get super weighed down here. Alright, it's storm time. Arctic winds. Let's see how well we do. It says minor winds. Let's see how well we do in our fur armor. Before we resort to setting up our shelter. In fact, I think that cave is over there. We could actually duck in there. I'd like to go in there anyways and grab some gold. Because we need more gold for um, more of that uh, composite paste stuff. Nope. Man, they're not dropping the prime meat. Okay, yeah. Let's head over to the cave. Alright, so we are getting the exposure debuff. And um, the composite armor is actually better at protecting us against that. That's the damage that the storm that storms do, not cold directly. So we'll hop into here. We'll look around for some gold, which is going to be heavy, but I, I need it is the thing. So we'll have to just do the best we can. Come on, stop freezing. Okay, where's our first worm at right here? Okay. Uh, well, we're looking, like I said, we're looking for gold, but I also want to see what deposit is in here, too. Okay. 
Okay, there's a couple of pieces of gold right there. Oh yeah, right. Getting in the water is not a good idea. <laughs> not even close to a good idea. But, uh, we have to kind of get around over here. Okay, there we go. That's an iron ore deposit. Okay, so yeah, there's no point in utilizing that in this cave. Uh, but, we are going to grab as much gold as we can carry without getting so much that we can't keep hunting for a little bit longer either. Alright, let's grab this. How heavy does that make us? Okay. We're heavy, but we're not, like, bad, bad heavy. Okay, so, um, it looks like the storm is getting past the worst part of it. Uh, let's just head out and see how we do. If it gets too bad, we have our shelter and uh, can set it up or even come back to this cave. Uh, but nice, we got a stack and a half-ish of gold, uh, which we can use to make the compound paste when we get back. Composite paste, I'm sorry. All right, let's go. We haven't really been any further than this. Because um, the last time we came in here, we were ill-prepared and barely made it out. Uh, but let's go in a little deeper and just kind of do a little bit of exploration here. That's that big hole that we saw the last time we were here. With some resources down at the bottom. Is there any... Sh possible chance of getting shelter up against like the side of a cliff or something I don't know this is pretty pretty cool looking though I've, I've mentioned this before, but the sound of the... Oh, okay. I guess that's all the further we can go. Um, Yeah, we can't go any further. The, uh, you know, the sound of the avalanche, uh, you know, is... I don't know, it just really freaks me out. <laughs> all right. Storm exposure, but it's almost over, so we'll be fine. What does this do... Yeah, it got us up to medium exposure. Okay, we're good. It really lets us come a long ways into this biome before we we reach the border. That's interesting. But you know, definitely with this fur armor, we can uh, we can handle the Arctic biome now. And I think our M.O. is going to be just, you know, whenever we're here, when we're doing um, prospects and whatnot, we probably just should always carry some shelter with us so we can handle storms and not have to worry about finding caves. That is cool looking down there, man. Look at that. Wait, we're using the wrong, wrong thing here. This is what we need to be using. I haven't been in the desert yet, um, and there is, if we look at the map, wait right here, let's let it load back in, kind of to the southwest, there's an entrance to the desert, I don't know, there's one up in the north too, but it, it wouldn't let me go into it at all, but if we can get into the other one, I'd just like to pop in there and take a look around a little bit, if nothing else, you know.
Where's all the new polar bears, man? We're leaving all kinds of food for them. All right, you guys. Well, <clears throat> I kind of lost track of time on this episode, so it might, <laughs> it might be a longer one, but I'll, I'll try and edit it down as much as possible. Uh, but I'm going to let you guys go here. I'm just going to kind of hunt my way back out of the snow biome and then um, keep working on stuff. What I would like to do is, uh, you know, build a few more things uh, like the refrigerator and the, you know, we're, we're, we should be able to make that electric composter thingy now. And then I'd like to have take at least one trip into the desert if we can get there. Um, before we wrap up this prospect. So that is the plan. How many more episodes that will be? I'm not sure. It could be one more episode, could be two, three, but shouldn't be too many more before we finally finish Argos exploration and get back to the other prospects. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share with the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.